hi guys uh today well first of all have you been reading have you been on mayan um i did make a book list on there with a bunch of different art books there's probably maybe 60 to 100 books that i put on that list you don't have to read all of them there it was just a list of all different art related things that you might be interested in that you can connect to your other classes too which brings me to what we are going to be inspired by today we're still looking at art careers and today we're going to be looking at illustrators more specifically book illustrators like today i'm wearing uh this dinosaur uh, jurassic park shirt because um one of my favorite book illustrators his name is chip kid so i'll show you uh, a few of his work too but let's learn about what do book illustrators do. So have you probably heard, an author writes the stories and the illustrator draws the pictures, but that's not all that illustrators do. So an illustrator tells the stories with pictures and they have to think and plan and research and they sketch and they imagine and then they have to go to all these meetings with the author and with the company and then they have they go back and they get edits so that means they're not really done with their work the first time they draw they have to go back and make some changes and uh, they use all kinds of materials watercolors crayons um, screen printing printmaking, computers, markers, anything really that you can use to create art, you can use to be an illustrator. And illustrators not only illustrate books, they work on ads, packaging, um, products, animations, movies, things that you're wearing. And today we are going to be illustrating your favorite book. Now you're not gonna copy what the previous illustrator did, you're going to make up your own. So what exactly um, from the book do you wanna show? Do you wanna showcase? This is what you're making the reader, if you, let's say you're at a bookstore or the library and they come and see like four different books, why are they gonna choose yours? What is that illustration going to be that is going to draw the person in and say, I wanna read that book? I'm gonna talk about Chip Kid. He is a graphic designer and illustrator, and he did the Jurassic Park book cover. He's done lots and lots of other famous books too. Not really books for kiddos, more books for your parents, but books for kiddos are from Eric Carle, which Eric Carle also happens to be the author of a lot of his books, and he has illustrated things for other people too. And this is Christina Vang, she illustrates books, she's done murals, she's done packaging, she's done all kinds of stuff, and I know her, she's awesome. We went to college together, and um, I, she's a, an amazing woman artist, designer, that you should all get to know. But back to our book, you're going to, you can either do something like this, where you're gonna design the back cover, the spine, and the front cover, or you can stick to the front cover only. It is up to you, and you can use whichever materials you like, because illustrators too, when they're designing, they kind of try out different materials. So maybe you're gonna start off with uh, markers, or maybe you're gonna do pencils only. Maybe you'll stick to crayons. It is up to you to pick what you're going to use. I decided to do Poor Unfortunate Soul, when you pick your book, really think about what are the symbols of the book? What's the main idea? That's what you're going to illustrate. So that's why I chose a seashell and the octopus tentacles to represent Ursula. And I'm using India ink, colored India ink, to, which is like a watercolor. Use whatever materials you have at home. Don't forget to upload your artwork. Check your Schoology for your weekly activities. Happy art making. I'm proud of you. 